Morning, morning. It is July 18th and we've got lots of fashion news on this beautiful Wednesday. The weather is gorgeous in California. I hope it's great for you guys as well. But we're going into a little bit more controversial news to start us off this morning. American Apparel joins in on the Olympics uniform conversation. So we've heard, we've been talking about this. There's so much controversy surrounding the uniforms that Ralph Lauren designed. Now American Apparel CEO Dove Charney said that via a representative that they would be happy to make American-made uniforms in less than seven days if Ralph Lauren wanted the help. So a little bit of like maybe a stab, maybe help. I don't know. You can take this as is, but American Apparel wants in the conversation. They want to help design for the Olympics. So whether that be this Olympics or next years, two years, I guess. American Apparel wants in, and so they're ready to do it right now, seven days if they want it, before the race to London. So that's interesting. I wonder if American Apparel will jump on the bandwagon this year. We'll just have to see. And in other news, DJ Tiesto is set to design a capsule collection for guests. Now, DJs, the electronic music scene has become huge, with Coachella also just announcing that they're going to have a cruise ship. Anyways, that's a whole different story, but Avicii was first for Ralph Lauren, Denim and Supply. He was their model and he is a Swedish DJ and Tiesto is now designing a collection. So we're just moving forward with electronic music and fashion definitely colliding. So his limited edition Tiesto watch will launch in August and the 22 piece clothing collection that he's going to design will be out in October. And apparently it's going to be inspired by electronic music and the people who love it according to MTV style. So I feel like this is going to be a fun collection. Probably definitely a little bit more on the wild side. And in magazine news, Kate Beckinsale covers Allure, August edition, 2012. She's wearing this orange outfit. It looks gorgeous on her complexion. And she talks about beauty. And she says, quote, feeling attractive didn't come until I was 29 and with Lynn. Side note, Lynn is her husband. She continues on, at the time, it was partly perceived as if I'd gone all Hollywood, but it wasn't like that at all. It was just okay for me to walk around and feel feminine and attractive. I like feeling liberated like this, and she should. She is absolutely gorgeous. And in other news, Diane von Furstenberg creating a bottle for Evian. So Diane has already teamed up with Diet Coke for a limited edition bottle, and now she's partnering with Evian, and it's set to launch in November. When it comes to bottled water, Evian is not my bottle of choice, if you will. Uh, that sounded so pompous, but I think that maybe with Diane von Furstenberg designing, I might have a little bit of a change of heart, but we'll just have to see when the bottle comes out in November. And some crazy news straight from the Daily Mail, and we always know that the Daily Mail is going to give us some crazy news, but women spend 43 weeks of their life applying makeup. Now, this is a British study, but I'm sure that it transcends into American life. Women spend 91 hours a year putting on makeup. Oh my stars. And for me, it might even be more. That's so depressing. But apparently women in the South take longer than those in the North. But maybe we should go a little more natural because that is a lot of time wasted, I guess. Not wasted because it's fun, but at the same time, 91 hours. Whoa, that's so many. And Pretty Little Liars are back for Bongo. Now, if you guys watched last night's episode, Holy cow, it just blows my mind every single week. Ashley Benson and Lucy Hale's fall 2012 ads for Bongo are out and they're exclusive to peoplemag2people.com. So go check them out over there. And Ashley says, quote, being the face of Bongo is so cool. Lucy and I have a great time together and the shoots are always really fun. So the previous ambassadors for Bongo have been people like Audrina Patridge, Kim Kardashian, Nicole Richie, and Rachel Bielsen. So these pretty little liars are joining in the footsteps. And Beyonce says back to braids. So Fashion Bomb Daily has a few blurry pics of the braids and from what we can tell they look super good. Now Beyonce hasn't had braids since 2001 and now she's sporting them and she debuted them kind of at Nas's Life is Good party, which was kind of a low key party, so that's why they're just like blurry phone pictures. But I think that the braids are gonna look good, so check those out on Fashion Bomb Daily. And in other exciting news, Jason Wu is launching Miss Wu. He's launching this in partnership with Nordstrom's. It'll be in stores in January, and it's for a much younger age group. So it's a 40 piece collection, and it's not necessarily budget friendly. It starts at $195 and goes all the way to $795, but it's still going to be a collection 
collection. And I guess it is budget friendly in regards to what the Jason Wu collection is, but it's definitely not his target prices. It's somewhere in between in the middle for a younger demo. It's gonna be flirty and feminine, and I'm super excited to see the whole collection. So that's all I have for you in fashion world today. Have a great Wednesday, and we will see you on Clever Style bright and early Thursday morning. Bye, guys.